Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, I thought I'd post a quick video to explain um, why I haven't posted any videos, especially recently, and why it's going to be a while uh, longer before I post any more videos. Uh, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, uh, I moved to Detroit about three weeks ago, and uh, it's been a hectic move. I only just recently finished unpacking and dealing with move-related stuff, and I started a uh, new job in town with uh, one of the major auto manufacturers in a tech support role. And as goes along with that, uh, I'm going to have to recertify my uh, ASC certifications. That's uh, a certification in the automotive field, for those of you not familiar with it. And I'll be taking that uh, test for those in mid-November. So essentially, everything's going to have to be on hold until then. However, at that time, when I get back to it, here's the next two projects I'm going to do. Uh, the first one's going to be an 18F4550 example with uh, both I2C and SPI communication, and also a serial LCD display. Then after that, I'm going to do a USB motor controller project, so that'll have DC motors in it and also servos and steppers. Then after that, I'm a little less certain on the order I'm going to do these remaining projects in, but here's at least some of the ideas I'm bouncing around. Uh, one would be an 18F4550 based uh, USB GPS reader, and then I'd probably also add a EE PROM chip uh, onto that project to log data also. I've been getting into OpenCV a little bit lately. So maybe I could do a tutorial on installing OpenCV, recompiling it, and then how to write a basic uh, object identification and motion tracking program. Uh, also, for those of you not familiar with the uh, book Robot Building for Beginners uh, by David Cook, uh, the author in that book walks you through building a line following robot from a sandwich container used as the body. The name of the robot is Sandwich, of course. And, uh, that's done with a simple comparator chip. So uh, one of the things the author mentions at the end is that it would be ideal to sort of redo the circuit design but with a microcontroller at the center of it. So I would choose an 18F4550, uh, of course, to do that. Um, maybe I'd call it 18F4550, which I haven't really decided on the name yet. Uh, also, I've been getting into uh, analog electronics lately, and uh, it would be kind of interesting to do three different radios, uh, one a crystal radio plus maybe one or two amplifiers to avoid having to use... Uh, special headphones and also to make the reception a little bit better and then uh, it's sort of as an intermediate would do a traditional super heterodyne design um, based on transistors and then as a third radio I would do uh, essentially a radio based on a radio I see at the center of it and then with a relatively small amount of amplification before and after the IC and then of course that last option would allow for uh, digital display and controls uh, also, a final idea I had in mind is uh, a long time ago in Visual Basic 6, I wrote a um, Connect 4 program. I never got the computer to play all that great, but it played at least kind of a decent game. And I was thinking about essentially redoing that program in the three .NET languages. Those, of course, being uh, the .NET version of Visual C++ and then C Sharp and Visual Basic. So I can't uh, necessarily promise if somebody requests a certain thing that I can necessarily do that first. It depends on how it works out. But, uh, you know, if somebody has some feelings on that, go ahead and post some comments to kind of sound off on it, and, and definitely I'll take those into consideration. Uh, so, unfortunately, it's going to be, um, I won't get to these two projects until mid-November, and it's probably going to be at least late November, early December by the time I finish those and post them. And then at that point, I can get to these. So, um, post some comments if you like, and I'll see you then.